News, interviews, education. We are TNM News. Hey everybody, this is Richard Lowe, your managing editor at the National Marijuana News. And today I wanted to chat with you about the Purple Rose Supply Canagar Kit. I was uh, fortunate enough to celebrate my 40th birthday recently. Woohoo! Um, and I thought we should do it in a little bit of style. So uh, I'd always wanted to try a Canagar. I've been to many dispensaries around the country. Uh, and in particular in Las Vegas, I've seen a lot of Canagars. They're at least a few hundred dollars. Uh, to some of them that are over $10,000. They'll put gold in them and all sorts of concentrates. Uh, some Canagars can fit as much as a whole ounce of marijuana in them. Uh, I always sort of question them uh, because one, you know, what's the difference between a Canagar and a Blunt? I now know that there's a significant difference between the two. Um, and also, I question whether or not it made any sense to sit down and smoke that much marijuana all at once. I mean, how many times do you have to put out a canagar and then relight it um, before you use it all? Does it end up being very wasteful? Um, I found out that none of that's true. It's not like a blunt, and uh, it's not wasteful either. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it was an incredibly unique smoking experience for me. And uh, for me, th that means a lot. Uh, so I wanted to share this with you. Uh, again, Purple Rose Supply. You got their social media right here, at Purple Rose Supply. So Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Pinterest is all at Purple Rose Supply, and Twitter is at underscore Purple Rose underscore. And their website, PurpleRoseSupply.com and what I have here is the G2 small so let's see what's inside the kit there, I'll show you the inside there and uh, it comes with this card right here uh, it gives a brief description as to the philosophy of the company. Um, basically, it's you get to have a Canagar at a much lower price because you're going to make it all on your own. And I like to understand how things work and I like making things, so it was ideal for me. Uh, and it also gives you a four-step guide on how to make the Canagar. Inside the box, you have your packing tool that consists of two parts this packer right here. You can see there's a hollow end there at the bottom. And then the actual mold itself. You can see there's a clasp here. There's a big opening right there. It's hinged. And there's a small hole at the uh, bottom here where the skewer goes. I'll show you the skewers in a moment. But if I unclasp this and unfold it, you can see the inside. Close it up again. And also, you have these skewers that look like little toothpicks. Uh, and that is what fits through the bottom hole here. Uh, there's a little knob here at the end so it'll stop once you've pushed it all the way through. And you'll see the point sticking out the top here. And then it also comes with a wooden filter tip. Wooden filter tip I found to be very key to the whole smoking experience. But uh, in a moment here, you're gonna see the whole process I went through of making the Canagar. Um, so I hope you enjoy and uh, Check it out. It's a good way to try out a new smoking experience and pay a whole lot less for it than if you went to a dispensary and bought a Canagar. Just to insert the skewer into this little hole here. So it's kind of a tight fit, which I guess makes sense. All right.
it seems to stop right here. So you can see that there's a little bit uh, there in the bottom. And then you can see the point sticking out the top there. And here's my packer. Now what I've done here is with a grinder, I finally ground up about seven grams of marijuana. This is real marijuana. Um, uh, here at the local cannabis dispensary in Florida, True Leave, where I'm a medical marijuana patient, uh, I was able to buy a three and a half gra uh, gram jar of lemon uh, OG Kush, uh, each for $33. So this is about $66 of weed right here that I've ground up. I was told that I could fit about seven grams of cannabis into one of these shells here. So we're gonna see how much I can actually get in there. So I just to start dropping it in there, little bit by little bit. So. All right, so I've got a little bit in there. Let's see what I've got in there so far. Now I'm gonna take the packing tool and I believe this hole is where toothpick should go over. All right. Losing some there, all right. Shake it into the hole. This is to pack it in tightly, so I'll do that. Add some more. And here, I'll give it a little shake, see if that helps get it down the hole better. Yeah, and back. Take a look. We can see there's actually still a little space. Maybe I could fit even more in there. Yeah, the limitation is just in the size of these shells here for the cigar. But I think that's pretty tightly packed in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this away, just as is, for the next couple of days in a cool, dry environment, my closet. And uh, I'll pick up the video uh, again then and put it into one of these shells and see how it goes. So uh, it's been a few days now uh, since I packed the mold full of uh, the cannabis. So it's time now to see about fitting it into this shell here. Um, so let's see again what the card says inside of the purple rose supply box here. Uh, for step three, take your mold apart and carefully remove the canagar core. Traditional canagars are usually rolled with cannabis leaf, but feel free to roll with your wrap of choice. Uh, get creative, add some wax or concentrate on the outside for a personal touch, use the wooden tip for a classier feel and to protect your lips from the hot smoke. Okay. So uh, it looks like I just pulled this out and insert it into it. It's all rolled up already. So 
here, let's uh, unclasp this. I'm opening it up. Maybe. There we go. All right, look at that. That should be about seven grams. I may have lost a little bit in the teeth of the grinder. Um, but it's almost seven grams packed in there, and it is seriously packed in there. That's about as tight as, you, as I've ever seen any uh, cannabis packed before. So let's go ahead, take the tape off. like I could have definitely fit more than seven grams in there I think that this actually could have taken maybe nine grams or so maybe even ten based off of the size of this and the size of the roll but uh, let's see here let's insert this and see how this works mold here feels very strong so I just hope the shell doesn't break while I push it in here pushing a little bit further So yeah, you can see that there's definitely room for some more there at the end. But I uh, have myself a little Canagar here. Again, if you go into dispensaries, these things cost at least a few hundred dollars. Um, I was looking at their website and uh, box costs of the mold here cost like 45 bucks, something like that. Uh, and then again, I bought about $66 worth of uh, cannabis from True Leaf Dispensary uh, for seven grams in total. Um, so, you know, this roughly $100 to create one of these right here. So save yourself some money and uh, make it at home. And um, once you got the mold, obviously you can keep reusing it. So really the only thing that costs money are the additional shells and the cannabis. So, um, I'll, uh, I'll plan on enjoying this here, and I'll, uh, I'll write about uh, whether or not it smokes well. Uh, this is Richard Lowe with the National Marijuana News, again, and uh, this is the Purple Rose Supply uh, Canagar Kit.